Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilay. And here we are, second day of the Necro Bear situation. All right, let's have a look at this bad boy. A bad boy, Titan Soul. So basically I've summoned all I could and I didn't know there was a Knight, Summoner, Warlord, Different, Sorcerer, Rogue, Alchemist, all around. I, look, I've only used whatever I had and it's been quite interesting to to get all of this but here is my collection okay so there is what it is and i don't have a whole bunch of any of these things i don't really know what that means when it comes to blue i don't know what the orange or whatever look i all right there you go guys we just got to figure it all out right so there you go this is a bunch of other random things that has random numbers with random mythics and so forth and I don't think I have any mythic just yet. But hey, there you guys go. Titan Souls, a little bit of an interesting situation. We just gotta figure it out as we go. It does give you a whole lot of a better push compared to if you didn't have any. And so it is worthwhile farming on a daily basis and it is going to increase your power of pushing. What I mean by that is, you look at this game. I told you I was gonna be real far. I wasn't gonna make it. Some random dude over here from Germany I think it's a German flag underneath me. But Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Anyway, it's number one. So, basically, he was overtaking me. And I decided at the last hour, I'm going to take over him. Get to the second spot and at least secure the second spot. I knew that the first spot was very far away. And I, I knew that was probably going to be a bit too far for me to get. And I was willing to take that L and just get number two. So, hence, that's why I'm at number two instead of number one. And so, yeah, there you guys go. Like the new Necro Bear, I think it is going to do us a huge favor. It's going to help us be able to push a lot more. And it's going to reward those that are active over those that are inactive. So this is going to really change the game for all of you guys. So make sure you keep farming at it. And you're going to start seeing that growth drastically for you. And definitely comment below uh, if you are in the 100,000 sort of level, trying to hit the 180,000. If you really find it absolutely amazing and it has changed completely, definitely drop it into it so that I can know how crazy it is for you guys. But for me right now in where I am, it does affect quite a lot, but I wouldn't say it is the most important at the end of the day. Um, I think at the end of the day, it is still gonna be down to your monuments. Um, it hasn't made me farm a whole lot better when it comes to my monuments. It is gaining a significant amount compared to the normal rate, but I wouldn't say that it is game breaking. Let's put it that way. So what I can see for the potential problem with this is look at that. They're trying to get us to use as much diamonds as we can. So the more diamonds we use, the more that they get and the more people will buy and the more people will buy, the stronger people will get. So that is... I don't know guys, I don't know if it's good and I don't know if it's bad, but that's currently exactly where it's at. Um, yeah, look, I'm not sure where this is going to turn out. I know there's going to be some psychos out there, not in a bad way psycho, but people that can afford it and people that really want it will be spending a whole lot of diamonds on this and I still don't know if it's worthwhile just yet all right so I, I will hold back on doing that kind of crazy stuff just have a look at those that are doing it and seeing if it, that's going to really make a huge difference because what i mean by that all it takes right is one event to go triple the summons that you can get or triple the amounts of um uh, what, what is this titan souls you're gonna get for this particular two or three days and people are gonna farm, farm 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 and just get a significant amount that way no matter whatever diamonds you spend will be become absolutely useless and obsolete so hence that's why i would say pull back a bit wait a little bit see what happens and if they really use it for for the benefit of the future then go ahead but until then i say just just hold up just let's see what's going on and figure out what happens next so that's it for me guys that's my little update i'm gonna look forward to it. it's the um abyssal tournament tomorrow night and i'm gonna show you the start i'm gonna show you at the end of it to give you the result of farming level 10 all right i've been doing this for weeks and weeks and weeks and i think in the last maybe 10 weeks i probably missed one uh level 10 farm but at the end of the day if you hurt me so long you remember 
farm level 10. That's all you have to worry about. Don't try and get number one. If you want to get number one, go for it. You know, all be to you, all power to you. Get the number one spot, get the W. But for me, the W is to farm level 10. Be consistent, keep playing well, and just keep farming level 10 until they change the metrics or they change some kind of uh, reward system. Then maybe then we have to start changing our strategy. Until that happens, I'm going to keep on my level 10 and that's all I need. Alright guys, I'll catch you tomorrow if you come this far. Thank you very much for all your likes and all your views. Drop a little subscribe, drop a like, that's going to help me a lot. If you can, drop a comment, it's going to help the algorithm uh, tremendously for me to push out to more Tap Titans warriors that are out there. And until then guys, I hope you're doing well. I'll catch you all tomorrow at the Abyssal Tournament. Bye bye.